The mind is totally a conditioned instrument and cannot recognize truth. Only you can recognize truth. And that, of course, is the soul or consciousness. You know, the mind is your worst enemy. Let me tell you. You might think it's your friend, but it isn't. It'll trap you. It'll take you into worlds you don't want to be. Just try living in the moment and watch the mind take you away from that. Constantly nipping at you, trying to take you away from the moment. You can't stop thinking without the mind going, well, back there, just watch this. And then come a thought. You know, so it's, it's, it's interesting. You're in an interesting world, interesting place. We're much more knowing and powerful because we work from consciousness as opposed to conditioned thought. And when you work from conditioned thought, you're lost. So you can't tie the two together. The mind only sees in pieces and separations. It's only you that sees as one. Soul sees as one. All things as one. The mind sees everything as individualities and separateness. The mind is always going to be chomping at you. But what if? But but what about this? And you know all those things. That's the mind. And there's a time where in your life you have to grab knowingness. You have to grab what you know to be true. The mind is is your little instigator. The, the mind is that little uh, entity that says, "Hey, listen to me." A totally conditioned uh, body. Uh, people condition your mind all the time. And I just, it's just unbelievable what goes on in the art of advertising and the art of conditioning the human mind. It's enough to say, though, learn how to step outside of that mind in the present moment and always be present when you can remember to be present and keep working on that, you know. Watch that mind. That mind will always try to take you out of the now. It will always go, but, what if, all those things. If you play in that world, you'll always be full of fear. You don't know what to do. Am I feeding my baby the right foods, even though the foods I'm eating are rebuilding me and making me healthy? What should I feed my baby? That sort of thinking. The mind is always going to be going, but what if, but, but, no, 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 but, but, but you should be doing this, but, 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 but. There's no buts. It just is. Truth is just the way it is. People don't think because their minds are so controlled with propaganda. And people don't have any awareness when their mind dominates them. And that's the problem. You let your mind dominate you, you will be confused about life totally. And you'll, you'll just go cycle after cycle, the same old thing in your lives. And it's hard to explain that it doesn't take years of education to learn the simplicity of wellness and how to get well. If this planet learns anything, we've over-academic ourselves. We're too much academics, and so that breeds the narcissism of, I'm smarter than you. I have all the intelligence. Well, unfortunately, when you see that, you don't have people that cure anything. They've lost their common sense. They've lost their overview because the mind dominates consciousness. And you can't let that happen. If your mind dominates consciousness, dominates yourself, you're lost in the world of thought and ego and separation. And you can't do that. Not and be happy and be well and to not to create a fistful of karma. And if you can't change your diet, smack yourself up the head and then change your diet. You can change your diet. Change this. Change your consciousness. You're, who's in control of your consciousness? You. And you have to gain control. Well, the only way to gain control of your consciousness is get away from your mind. And that's what we've been talking about, too. That's as vital as understanding the mind is a good servant, a lousy master. Keeping yourself understanding that you're not physical being, that you're not an emotional being, that you're not a mental being, that you are a being of a high order of consciousness, a, a, a piece of that mirror of God. And so that keep your body separate than yourself always. You'll be happier for it. And always put everything outside. And we've talked a lot about this, but I can tell you, the more you look around, get above your mind. Get out of your minds. Don't let your thought processes rule your day. Let the now, let being here now rule your day. Even if you have to constantly repeat it to yourself, be here now, be here now. Learn to stop thinking. Separate that subtle mind that you can't see or touch. And learn when thought comes in to kick that outside. You will always be happier. And when the bodies go through issues, you won't be pulled and riveted so hard.
Other groups, they play with the mind, they play with positive thinking, things like this. Positive thinking is still thinking. So you've got to get away from the mind. And, and those of you that are able to do that are the guardians of the consciousness. And you are bringing forth that uh, level of awareness. And it's key. If you don't have someone always directing people in the simplicity of things, then mind wins and complexity takes over. I start adding uh, digestive enzymes because everybody said it's okay. I'm adding probiotics. I'm adding this. I'm adding a little magnesium. I'm drinking salt water. I'm drinking 9 pH water. When you keep getting pulled in these directions, you you have to come back and think common sensely what you can't do. It's sad to be in a situation where you're getting bad karma from it and you're unaware of it. <laughs> That's the problem. That's why awareness is always good to have. <laughs> because then you'll know when you're getting your butt kicked because you created it and now you know you created it. And then we wonder why all these things happen to us and we forget that we've created everything that happens to us. That's the problem. We bitch about everything outside of ourselves when we're the problem. Or we'll put it this way, our mind we're not the problem. Our mind becomes a problem. Our emotions become the problem because they're conditionable instruments or bodies, if you will. They totally have to be conditioned. So you can program them just like you program a computer. But who does the programming? Your church, your family, your school, your college, your country, your village, state, all of this. If you promote the mind, then you lose yourself. And now you're playing with your mind. And it's just endless streams of thoughts, comparisons, analysis, uh, and the like. It deals with knowledge, which knowledge is a piece of all, of all that exists. You're already a, a, a part of all that exists. There is no gaining knowledge. We feel that there is at this level, but in the final analysis, to you, you don't need that knowledge because you are the sum of all things. The medical profession is so physical, they think the brain is the mind. The brain is no longer than the, and the mind as your adrenal glands are your emotions, but they are tied to it. They have a symbiotic relationship. That's how you initiate thinking and everything else is through all the brain synapses and all these things. Absolutely. How you initiate emotions, adrenal glands. These are chakras or, or energy centers or vortexes for all these other levels. Don't let the mind. The mind's going to always want to pull you to unhappiness, to depression, to saying you're not good enough. It's always going to take you away from yourself. That's its job. It's not yourself. So. Get a hold of that mind. And the only way you can get a hold of the mind is quit using it. Make sense? And how you use the mind is thinking, desiring. That's The mind and emotions are so close together, you can't hardly tell one from the other. But they're separate, distinct universes, worlds, and separate and distinct bodies. You know, you most people don't understand when, when you say mind versus soul or mind versus consciousness of your awareness. There's a difference between consciousness or pure awareness and thought. Thought does not hold the answers to anything, but consciousness holds all the answers. And so that's what you should seek if you want to seek anything, is the answers to all of life. Well, it isn't through the mind that you can find them. If you notice, we have a lot of fine universities and we have a lot of fine medical doctors that know so much. They went to accredited school. Well, who accredited those? Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you have to take a look at the whole thing. But to get there, you have to get outside a little bit and understand the boxes in the trap that man has got himself into on this planet. So, you know, man's trying to make it more complicated and complex than it really is. And to that end, he's losing his financial picture. He's losing his health. He's losing everything for the sake of the intellectualism and of the mind. You got to pull back and keep things simple sometimes. You know, a man keeps thinking the more complicated, the better. The answers have got to be so complicated to life. And that's the problem. The mind has consumed man and taken him down. So now we have to gain our spirituality, our consciousness back and pull back and realize simplicity. And simplicity is the order of the day and the healing of the day.
We want actualities. And actualities come when you get away from that mental, mentalness, that conditioned state of thinking that only ties you to what you've been taught. You can't think outside of the box, as they say. And when you can't think outside of the box, simply means you can't see or be aware, not think, because you can't think outside of the box. Thinking is a process that takes your attention away from you. So when you're outside of thinking, then you can see truth. But if you're in thinking, you're in conditioning, and you can't see truth. That's their problem. And very few you know, physicians are willing to think outside of the box. The trap of the mind, which keeps you trapped in thought patterns that are, are, are conditioned. So you have no way to come out and see truth from conditioned thought forms. Because thought patterns, conditioned thought patterns, are conditioned by your school, your, 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 your whatever books they allow you to read, what we thought of, uh, of history, which is totally wrong right now. We're starting to learn that a lot of the history we've learned is not accurate. We're starting to see. So that's a problem with belief systems is limiting your experience to the belief system that you've accepted without proof or evidence. You've just accepted it because your family believed it, your church believed it, or your or your or, or, or your school believed it. Quieting the mind. Why why all these forms of Tai Chi, yoga, to quiet the mind? Because you shut that thing up and you'll be able to see and become aware of what is as opposed to what you think is big difference. Because what you think is, is conditioned by man, religions, things like this. And the mind can never lead you to Wellville or to uh, God, because it has nothing to do with that. It's, it's, its job is to separate, divide, analyze, rationalize, if we could call it that. Only consciousness, the, the, the awareness behind the mind, is the key. And the only way you can find that is to shut that mind down and become the watcher. And pretty soon the watcher merges with all life because all life, God is simply watching through all the eyes of nature. Physical body is a physical body. It's not you, it's what you're using. Your emotions is what you're using. Your mind is what you're using. And these aren't you, but they're definitely tools you use to create in creation or you couldn't be here. But you have to learn to use those tools and draw back from them when you can. The secret of learning how that they are tools and that they are bodies that you simply are only using, it's not you, will help you free yourself. It's like those people that write and say they got to have meat. The only reason they got to have meat is this. And the same reason you see these survival men, you got to find a grow, I got to have protein because I need energy. Well, your body doesn't use protein for energy, guys. Got it in here. So keep that simplicity always going because your mind is always going to want to go back. The butt word, you know, uh, I'm in the now. But what, what about, see, that's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I enjoy the beauty of the now. I'm observing all life and its beauty and glory. But, but what, I got it, I got I got, I got but. Ah. You have to live in creation, but you have to learn a new way of living. Someday we'll get in a discussion about that when you're working more in the now. How do you adjust the way you live? Because memory is a problem. <laughs> the mind is like these old records, you know, these old LP photograph records and how they have all the grooves on them. That's how your mind works. Once your mind gets set in a pattern, it doesn't take long to set patterns up. You you love these patterns. Remember, we talked about that the other day on these videos. It's six o'clock. I got to get home. The news is on at six. Seven o'clock is uh, Greta. Uh, eight o'clock is um, well. It could be X Factor. It could be uh, American Idol. I don't know these things, of course. <laughs>